Hi, I'm Tracy Sinclair with Alaska's News Source, and let's jump in and talk about the Leonid meteor shower. It peaks tonight. Now, if you've had the lucky chance to have some clear skies over the last uh, probably two weeks, maybe a little less than two weeks, you might have seen some of these meteors because it isn't just a one night event. This is just the night that it peaks. And with that, we have the possibility of seeing 10 to 15 meteors per hour got to get into a good location that means getting away from city lights you want to be in a dark location and you want to be able to have your eyes have enough time to adjust to the light now i do have some pictures from viewers here in alaska of some past meteors that they've taken so we're going to show a couple of those off but first i want to show you what it looks like right now outside at our weather camera you're going to look at this and say tracy there's no way we're seeing a meteor shower tonight if it looks like this we do expect it to actually improve over the next several hours. We are expecting some clearing overnight, so you do have a chance to see some of those. That's here in South Central, other parts of the interior, particularly over the weekend, where we might not be at the peak of the meteor shower, but we're still going to be in a pretty good stead to see some of these meteors coming through. Um, that will happen over the weekend. So we are looking for pretty good clear skies to develop across parts of the interior, areas near the Brooks Range. All of Alaska has the opportunity. Often, you know, one part of the state can't see it, but all of it, weather willing, we will have the opportunity to see this. We're also going to talk about the meteor shower coming up in December, and that one even more meteors coming in. That's the Geminid. So let's start with this very cool picture sent to us by Bianca Lestenkoff from Unalaska. And I'm going to go ahead and take Bianca's name off so you can see it, uh, the meteor that she caught in the shot just a little bit better. The other benefit for tonight's meteor shower is that the moon is waxing. It's only almost at about a quarter of a moon right now, so that is going to help you see more of those meteors. Now the meteors are created by the, uh, the Earth running into the dust and rocks left behind by the Temple Tuttle Comet. This comet comes around every 33 years. This one's a little bit harder to see, but you can see that streak right there that Glenn Corey got um, taking that picture. So just a little bit of a streak. That is one of those meteors moving through. And these are not all coming through during um, the Leonid shower, but just to give you an idea of what you're looking for in the sky. Really, when I, most of us, when we look up, we're going to see a um, shooting star is what we're going to call it because that's what it looks like and that's what it really is for the rest of us but it is technically a um, meteor and the interesting things about these meteors is that they're very very small they're um, like maybe the size of a pebble or a small stone sometimes go down they only weigh about two to three grams they're very very small They're just moving at such a high speed that when they hit the earth's atmosphere that's when you see that bright light coming through. So despite what they look like in the sky as they shoot across the sky, they are really very quite small pieces of... Um, this is another really cool picture that I'm going to show you, not just because of the stars. This is a long term picture, but David Neal out in Palmer got not only those stars, again, a long term exposure, so you see the stars going around, but if you look down to the left, he did also capture, and it looks like maybe a couple different meteors moving through. So really, really a cool photo. Thank you, David, for sending that in to us. And there's David again, so we know who he is. And this one, cool, Tammy Robin got this beautiful picture of the Aurora and a meteor. That is the ultimate. When you can get both of those in your shot, you're going to have the um, meteor. Uh, Todd Salat, he goes by the Aurora Hunter. He has a beautiful picture called Fireball that he also sort of got by um, accident. He was just kind of doing a test shot and he ended up. So Tammy, very lucky to get that. So we got a question asking where is the best place to see them? So meteors really will appear across the sky. It doesn't matter where you're looking. So these are listed as the Leonid because they appear to radiate from the Leo 
constellation, but you don't need to look toward that direction. Really what you want to do, get away from the lights. You want to get into a dark place. You want to let your eyes adjust. Usually it takes about 15 minutes for your eyes to really adjust to that kind of darkness. And then if you're in some place warm, they say lay on the ground and look up. Most of us here in Alaska are not going to want to lay on the snow, but if you've got something that is going to insulate you, lay down, look up, you will see them shooting across the sky. So it's not a specific location, and you don't have to look a specific direction. You really just need to get into the darkness. One of the things I think was interesting, the Temple Tuttle Comet, that's what has created this meteor shower. It comes around every 33 years. Now, it was actually discovered in 1865, but the reason it has two names is because William Temple was in France. He discovered it in December of 1865. Then in January, in America, um, Horace Tuttle, he was working at the Harvard College Observatory, he discovered it. The two didn't know about it each other at that time, 1865, not a lot of communication between the two countries. So they basically, or the, between the two continents. And so at that point they said independent discovery and both of their names went on the comet. I just thought that was really interesting. The next time this comes around will be 2031. In 1998, I believe, it came through and it created what they call a comet storm or a meteor storm. This is a meteor shower, but a meteor storm is where you can get like a thousand meteors per hour. That would be amazing. 2031 is going to be our next best chance with this particular um, image. Let's go ahead and take a look again. We'll jump back into Tammy's picture and then we'll see if we can switch over. We've got just a few more of these really cool photos coming through. Um, the We've had some beautiful aurora. This is another one where we caught Andrew Hooper, happened to catch a bit of an aurora, a bit of a meteor while he was taking pictures of the aurora, taking Andrew's name out so you can see it. It's over there just a little bit to the right. Just so beautiful when people are able to get those pictures. And speaking of the aurora, this is there's no meteor in this shot, but Tracy Try sent us this great picture of the aurora. This was taken out in Palmer. So I did want to talk a little bit about the forecast for the aurora over the next couple of days. Now, it's not huge for tonight or tomorrow, but when we get into um, some of those, uh, I would say the 22nd, 23rd is what it looks like. Those are the days that we actually have a chance to see a better aurora coming through. We're going to see levels going up to about a five. Um, according to the Geophysical Institute out of Fairbanks, we're looking at a five on the 22nd, on the 24th, and the 25th. So kind of start looking a little bit early on the morning of the 22nd, and we've got a good possibility of seeing some pretty bright aurora. We just need to get some of those clear skies to give us the ability. Now, over the, the meteor shower, the Leonid meteor shower continues until probably about December 30th. So even if you don't see it tonight, if you don't get those clear skies over the next couple of days, you've got a pretty good chance of seeing some of those meteors coming through. They'll look like shooting stars. And again, those will probably come from the Leonid meteor shower. In early December, that's when the Geminid meteor shower shows up. And with that one, you're going to see a possibility when it peaks about the 13th, 14th, 15th, there's a possibility of 50, maybe even in some places, 100 meteors per hour. Really, those are ideal conditions. So you have a lot more chances of seeing those as we get a little farther into December. But tonight also could be a fun peak, 10 to 15 meteors per hour. All of Alaska has the ability, <laughs> the ability to see them. It's weather willing, and that is always as we know in Alaska, that is always our issue. But we are seeing those clear skies coming through, so we have a chance to um, get a little bit of, um, get some of those uh, uh, meteors coming through. And if you get a photo, we would love to see it, always. Go to alaskasnewsource.com and you can upload your photos. There's a little clip in the bar right at the top that says upload photos and videos, and we would love to see them if by chance you get one of these uh, meteors in one of your great photos. So thank you so much for joining us here on Skywatch Alaska. Keep looking up to the sky and don't forget you can find us on our news apps and on our free streaming channels on Amazon Fire, Apple TV and Roku.